Hi, my name is Vivian, and I'm here to talk about why should we be aware of mental health by looking at bipolar disorder. One day, I asked my friends how they felt about mental health. Some of them replied to me they are either diagnosed with depression or anxiety. I didn't know that many people around me are actually struggling with mental illnesses. Maybe you know someone who are struggling with mental illnesses, but do we talk about it in daily life? Due to the research from the In National Institute of Mental Health, many places where they are more open to talk about mental illnesses actually have a higher rate of adults struggling with mental illnesses, and they also have a higher rate to receive mental health services. Whereas countries where they are close to talk about mental health issues actually have relatively low rates in both areas. Maybe the symptoms does not show so intensely in both areas. Maybe the symptoms does not show so intensely, but have you ever felt ups or downs in emotion? I figured many people who listen to a description of mental health might think the description fits them too. Maybe, but there, but notice there are also a lot of stereotypes among the people who are struggling with mental illnesses, especially when nowadays media exaggerates it. But there is also a lot of different attitude toward the topic of, towards mental health issues. So what is mental illness? Mental illness, it is really hard to define a single cause of mental illness. Due to the research from the National Library of Medicine, there are actually more than 53 factors just for bipolar disorder. And as the field of psychology developed as experimentally based science in the 19th century, it is a relatively young field. Studying the human mind is hard. First, because you're using the human mind to study the human mind. And second, it is you cannot find some randomly and do certain experiments on them. But what we do know from the scientists in the past has found is that our brain is composed of neurons, forming a web for information to travel. All logic and emotion are controlled and memorized by our brain. Maybe not everything can be recalled, but unconsciously, our brain remembers everything. That is why humans have intuitions and instant reactions. But there is also physical evidence of a normal person's brain and the patient struggling with mental illnesses. The brain mass volume is actually different. And due to the evolution theory, the latest and the biggest part of our brain is more developed than other organisms. That is why humans have uniquely higher logics. But the dysfunction of the brain is like a machine with broken parts, resulting in mood imbalance or mental illnesses. This means the patient cannot cope with their daily life and have problems continuously bothering them. So why do we need to know all this information? For the general public, it is hard to understand the brain fully. Not even scientists can find it easy to understand. But for patients, this is they find it hard to tell people about their emotions or their problems. This makes it even harder for society to understand them. But lack of communication and connection actually leads to mis misunderstanding, unreliability, and arguments. For a normal person, this can't be a problem, but for patients, this can isolate them from the world around. Have you ever thought about why doctors inform people about first aid and why police inform people against fraud? Informing helps the society to build a better understanding and prevents destructive things from happening. So why don't we inform people about possible problems of mental health and how to deal with them? There is actually a different attitude in, the Ch in China and in the US. Where in China, there are actually a lot of shameful attitude towards the people who are struggling with mental illnesses. Compared to the Western culture, they have a lack of social awareness among the people. Looking at bipolar disorder specifically, research has stated that there are 15 people diagnosed with bipolar disorder out of 100 people diagnosed with any kind of mental illnesses in the US. And in China, there are 6.2 out of 100. But notice that there is also a different education system in the Chinese culture and in the US. 
where the U.S. have a student-centered education focusing on creativity and thinking, and China, on the in the other hand, have a completely theory or memory-based education, which puts a lot of pressure on the student too. So why is the percentage more than half lower in China than the U.S.? Well, some suggest it's because of the cultural differences of the two country. Like I said before, Chinese actually have a more shameful attitude towards mental health problem, whereas the Western culture are more open to talk about mental illnesses. Others suggest it's because of the origin of psychology is actually in the Western culture, where most of the founding fathers are actually born from the West. And some suggest it's because of the poverty rate in Asian countries, where lower class people find it harder to seek help. All can be true, but how can we help our friends or family who might have minor signs of mental illnesses, even though we are not specialists in the field? Well, a possible way to start treatment, but also a stressor, can be communication. Communication involves more than two people to talk and communicate and understand each other. A type of communication is also used in therapies is active listening. Anyone can be an active listener simply by listening to another per person while they're talking and giving active response to show their understanding. Communication can actually help build a healthy relationship, and can also be the problem or cause stress. But communicating can also be the key to break mental illnesses and a better life. And other ways to bring awareness of mental health problems to the society is such as the school can include mental health as a topic in their curriculum. Informing younger people about the mental health problem, or the community can bring community outreach or workshops to inform the community and spread information among them, or the country can use the internet and media to spread information about mental illnesses, which means the information cannot be biased, and talking both about the difficulties and the ways to help them. But at the end of the day, mental health can be helped by anyone. At anywhere, at any time, not only dependent on psychologists or psychiatrists. Thank you.